Señor, por favor, Adina. Adina, solamente Adina. Adina, Adina. Ok, todo te relaje. Todo te relaje. Y otro lado. Ok. So now, as you see, he'll dip his head down. And what that's doing is it's short circuiting the entire spinal column. As you see how he's ambulating. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop him here. Bocariba, más. Okay, tell him to walk. Camine ahora, por favor. And now you notice he's more stable. So what we're going to do now is we're going to walk right on this T12L1 situation where he's locked up. So we're going to take this and we're going to use a bifurcated unit because we want to start to get the bones to move. Now there's a lot of osteophytic activity in here, but that should not preclude you from going to those areas that are fusing up, because those areas that are fusing up are the ones that aren't moving. And remember, we want a spine to translate the energy from one joint to another. And the next thing we're gonna do, now we normally don't do this in a scoliosis patient. However, he has functional distortions in his spine due to the curvature on the right side, the same side as we have this prosthesis. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wonderful unit and we're gonna put this on the lateral border right here and we're going to shift it. Think of me, señor, me gusta. Está bueno. Me gusta. So we're just going to shift it. We're not going to twist this gentleman because he can't twist. Now, once you listen to the changes, you're going to hear a change. in sound. Notice the gate. This man couldn't walk when he came in. Now he's walking by himself. We have the cervical collar on him to keep his head up. But as you see, he's doing much better. This was one visit. 